morning, you guys. Good morning. As you can see, I'm about to head to work. It's Saturday. I'm just kind of turning off all the lights and stuff because we are actually all leaving this morning. And I'm trying to rush out so that I can get to work on time. Uh, there's Corey in the back putting the baby up. So today is actually, we got a lot going on. Like, it's a lot. So they are coming with me to work because Corey has to go help. <clears throat> Look, can y'all hear me? Corey has to go um, help a friend move today. So he's taking the baby with him um, to go help his friend move in. So he's gonna drop me off at work and then head, head that way. Yeah, it's our friend. I don't know, it's, it's definitely our friend. But, um, so he's gonna drop me off at work and then he's gonna, and then he's gonna head over there. Um, you guys know Saturdays I get off at one o'clock, so um, I'll be getting off early today and uh, we have a lot planned. I'll tell you guys more about it when I get in the car because like I said, we are rushing, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the car now. So I have reservations for Corey to get a massage, a pedicure, and then we have reservations at Wolfgang and Puck. And then after that, we're just gonna have some drinks maybe on um, maybe downtown. It's a little bit chilly today, so I'm not sure how much walking around we'll do, but- uh, This weather ain't nothing. Yeah, like I have some really nice things set up and I'm excited. So it'll be kind of like a date night. My mom is gonna come over and watch the baby um, for us while we do that. And I actually debated staying overnight, but we decided against it in the end. Yeah, because- but we're gonna. I'm trying to save as yeah, much party. money as possible. Yeah, and I understand that. But I have uh, reservations at the Immerse Spa at MGM, and I went to the MGM uh, spa when I was in Las Vegas. But and th it was nice. Even when I made the reservation, she was like, "Oh, I see you've been to our Vegas spa," because I was in there like a few times when I was in Vegas. But it was really nice, so I figured, you know, they give you like champagne. It's just really upscale, so I figured it would be cool. So I think he's gonna like it. He definitely deserves it. He deserves more, honestly. But you know what I'm saying? I gotta wait till I get my makeup to, you know, get my baby a Lamborghini or something, you know? We're not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting a Lamborghini. That's a waste of money. <laughs> Why would, that, that's just a complete waste of we money. We could have rich people money and still spend like we poor. Like, that's and that's how you stay rich. All right, guys, I just got to work. And again, today we wow. have a really exciting um, situation going on. Like, but this should be like a really fun day and I can't wait to take you guys along with us. I am always ready to celebrate my man because he's just a great husband. But I'll hit you guys back up later. I think Corey's gonna also take you guys with him as he helps our friends move. So you'll get to kind of follow us throughout the whole entire day. I'm sorry if the lighting is bad, you guys. It's like really weird right now. Like we're under shade with the sun. All right, guys, hit you back up. We made it. Oh, hold on. We made it. I'm gonna knock on this door. Got the truck out here, I see. But, deuces. Look who's being good. Yeah, you being good during this whole moving situation. He really is. We're gonna try to get you out here quicker for us, so maybe. Oh, no, it's all good. As long as I get the heavy stuff, that's what I'm most concerned with. But everybody on their way, so we can start this assembly line going on. Great. That was a workout, fam. Sorry I didn't get that much in. But I'm about to head over, pick up wifey. Let me hurry up. I gotta make this drive. I don't got no car around. I can't drive with the camera on. So I'm gonna hurry up, pick up wifey. All right, peace out. <laughs> hey guys, I just got off work. Um, so now we are about to head into the house and I'm about to start getting dressed while Corey go, goes to run and get his hair cut. Um, my mom will probably be here in like an hour, so. I'm gonna have to try to hurry up and get ready. But yeah, we're just getting the baby out of the car. She was sleeping there. I love her little coveralls today. But yeah, I'll hit you guys up when I finish getting ready because I need to hop on that. You know, we do have reservations and I don't want to be late. Hey! Hey guys! My wife so, looking good. Babe, I had to look good for you. It's your birthday. Celebration. So I'm sorry that I didn't record like earlier like getting dressed and stuff i was actually trying to like hurry up and rush so that we can make it on time for our reservations um my mom is there with the baby so they're just gonna have some i guess grandma granddaughter time i think my mom's actually about to like watch black panther or something 
But anyway, we're headed now to the MGM Grand. Honey was trying to find somebody to do his etch up, but he couldn't find anybody. He said apparently finding a barber is like finding a wife. So now that he's in a new place, he's not having much luck finding I gotta someone get me to up. his. I gotta, I gotta get married all over again, man. Basically. So I'll you guys up when we get to MGM.
so good. And I had the whole thing to myself, you guys. I'm winning. So I'm about to, no reasons up. I'm about to go meet Corey back at the side. Why do I feel like he's still asleep? This boy. <laughs> nobody even in here anymore. But we need to get up to get ready for our dinner reservation. Okay. Oh, you are up, honey. Welcome back to reality. Oop, there goes the gravity. Oop. I'm so mad that he won't give up. That he won't. Hi, honey. Hey, boo. You don't know what you're missing with that. You should really go to yours. It's. I can't. It's. You speak You don't want to go try it just for one minute. You don't even want to be with I am fine, like, just. Okay. Well, I'm up here in the ball. My baby is like. Okay. So tired. Okay. 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 We need to get dressed. <laughs> it's almost eight o'clock and our reservations. Okay. Our reservations are eight thirty, so we have time because Wolfgang and Puck is literally inside of MGM Grand, so we don't have to do anything special. I'm, I guess we'll see after that if he feels like going out for cocktails, going to a bar. He might not though. You wanna go out after or you wanna go home and go see sleep? Oh no, we're gonna go somewhere after. It's his birthday, so it's whatever he wants, right honey? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We just finished dinner. <laughs> You're going to talk for me? Go ahead, baby. We just finished dinner. Uh -huh. Never spent that much in my life. <laughs> Ever. I am a cheapskate to the fullest. He's frugal. He's okay, though. It's his birthday. Nah, nah. You ain't going to see that from me a long time. Probably He'll be 10 fine. years. He'll be fine. Anyway, so now we are about to go walk around, maybe grab some drinks before we head back home to our baby girl. Um, dinner was delicious. He didn't like the creme brulee. 
um, that I got him for his like little birthday. So we ended up wasting that, which was annoying. We left it on the table. He didn't like it. I tried to pick something I thought he would like, but he just wasn't into it. So and when we go to Paris or when we go over to there, we won't get into any creme brulee, honey. Nah, nah, I'm good. All right, so now we're about to just walk around downtown for a little bit before we head back. And yeah, so we'll hit you guys back up. <laughs> it's like really late it's like 1 20 um and we're just now getting back home um when I, we got here the baby was obviously sleeping my mom had put her to sleep she had given her a bath given her her milk and everything so at this point i'm about to hop in the shower and i'm also about to go to sleep i'm extremely tired like unlike corey i did not take a nap today at the spa so as you can see my eyes are just done my lash coming off i'm looking ratchet that's what type of day this been for me, y'all. I'm just really tired. But my husband told me on the way home that um, he was really grateful that I did so much to make his birthday great. And that he had an amazing time. And that's really all I care about. Um, that's all I wanted was to see him smile. So he said he felt really special and he enjoyed his birthday. So that's all I could ask for. So, um, I'm just happy that my husband had a really good night. I'm happy that he had fun. That's all I care about. And I'm low-key kind of happy my daughter sleep. I may pump because I haven't fed her since three or four and I know that you know the more you you know I want to keep my supply going so I think I'm gonna pump before I go to bed but right now I'm about to hop in the shower and take a nice hot shower and take my behind to sleep so I'll see you guys tomorrow good night <laughs> birthday to you so now she's just getting her little salad but since she only has two teeth at the bottom we still um mix it okay baby come on let's go get some you gotta be nice because it's betty's birthday today she ain't gonna talk i ain't gonna look forward <laughs> come on let's eat your nana i woke up early enough to be able to feed you breakfast i'm winning yo well, it's not your queen day, it's your king day. <laughs> yes, I am I am shaking my head in the background. <laughs> Say happy birthday, Dada. Happy birthday, Dada. Today is his actual birthday. I can't let it go uncelebrated today. Actually, just left the cake shop. Um, it's there's a bakery near my job that my um 
my co-worker suggested to me i went during my lunch hour i'm on lunch right now i went and got him a cake got him some candles and everything um and then when we get home when i get home i'm gonna sing him happy birthday now the only thing i'm trying to figure out is what are we going to eat tonight like i'm thinking about going into this gordon food store and buying some ingredients for some mexican because he said he wanted authentic mexican but I mean, I don't know the area. I don't know what, you know, what's really good around here. So I think I might just make him something myself. I'm going to Gordon's and get inspired. So you guys, I just got home and, um, yeah, I have the funniest story. I'll tell you guys when we get in the house. All right, guys, so I'm just about to kind of start to wrap up the vlog, but I want to tell you guys like the fail of my life. So y'all saw how for lunch, um, I tried to get ingredients because my husband said he really wanted Mexican food. So y'all, I go to the store and I buy ingredients because my husband loves Chipotle burritos. So I brought ingredients, lettuce, cheese, sour cream, chicken, I even brought, Corey was laughing at me because I even brought like service things because I was gonna like make it like a little mini Mexican party. Um, you know, they put lime and cilantro in their rice. That's of kind of that fire roasted uh, salsa verde because huge can of beans. When the day was over, I was just, y'all, I was exhausted. So I was talking to my uh, coworkers like towards the last 10 minutes of the day, like, okay, I gotta go cook this this grand dinner. Let me get my mind together. Let me get my mind right. Let me get my mind right. So they were like, why won't you just go to Mexican Fiesta up the street? It's Mexican food ever. So I'm just like, now nah, y'all tell me after I done brought a whole Chipotle spread situation. So honestly, y'all, I'm gonna just be honest. I just went to go order. I went to buy it. I was so I was so tired. I was like, you know, I'll make my baby some burritos this weekend, but until then, I can just get him some authentic Mexican food, which will probably taste better than mine anyway. So I did all that work for lunch, y'all, and I ended up ordering Mexican food, which was delicious, by the way. The cake that I ended up buying, you guys saw the bakery and everything. But it just says happy birthday husband and my husband's favorite color is purple. So I'm gonna sing happy birthday to the birthday boy and then we're gonna call we're gonna call it a night. Obviously still in my work clothes, so I'm about to go shower and hang out with them until they get ready to do the cake and ice cream. You didn't go from in to out. You both go all the way from in to out, not out to in. Man, it's just that one you couldn't like. Yes, because you <laughs> went from out to in. Where's the cake? Okay. Ready, Cory? Ready. Really? Happy birthday to you. Come on, Cory. Happy birthday to you. Say that, that. Thank happy you. Happy birthday to you. Yay! And many more. <laughs> Hey babe, I think something's still on fire. Look at the seven, babe. Look, look what you did. <laughs> That's why we put too many candles close to each other. All right, guys, it's pretty late. What time is it, babe? Like eight o'clock? No. Nope. Eight o'clock on that. It's eight o'clock, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and end out the vlog right. here. Um, I just wanted you guys to be able to see like the whole entire celebration of pretty much the best <laughs> man that's ever walked the planet, but arguably. <laughs> The best husband that's ever walked the planet and the best father. But nah. So anyway, <coughs> all that mushy stuff aside, are you dying? I'm slowly dying. Don't though. die on your birthday, honey. <coughs> How would you throw that? I'm gonna drink here. Yeah. Oh my god, you want some water? Uh, yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm about to kill him. Why can't we just have a normal like situation of life? Like, why do you have to choke on your birthday? <coughs> you shouldn't even be eating all this cake before bed. I'm a bad mom. Anywho, go ahead and like the video, um, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications bell. She's about to kill me if I don't give her more cake. Turn on your notifications bell so that you always know when my family posts a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for following me and my family. And we look forward to having you again for the next one. Bye. Stop moving, feels too good for that. So.